Okay, we do have some breaking news to pass along to you coming from downtown Detroit. A judge has just sentenced State Senator Virgil Smith to 10 months in jail. This was all part of a plea deal from the shooting incident last May that involved his ex-wife and another woman. But Rod Maloney was in court today. Rod, uh, prosecutors now say that that plea deal is in some jeopardy. This got complicated today. Yeah, it really got complicated in a very lengthy hearing, Devin, and here's the deal. Right now, State Senator Virgil Smith remains a state senator, though he was supposed to resign his office as part of the plea deal. But Judge Lawrence Tallon went ahead and said in open court today that he did not feel that it was a good plea arrangement in that regard. Here is what he had to say. The portions of the guilty plea in this case pertaining to Mr. Smith's resignation from the Senate and the prohibition from him serving um, as an elected or appointed officer during the uh, pendency of this uh, probation are void because they represent an unconstitutional interference by the executive, the prosecutor, with the legislative branch of government. Now, the judge set aside the, the ending of the sentencing until March 28th. So we called Prosecutor Kim Worthy. This is the email I just received moments ago. The judge gave a new sentencing date of March 28th, 2016. Prosecutor Kim Worthy said, quote, the plea is legal. The defendant agreed to it. If all the conditions are not accepted by the court, we will withdraw our plea. We are certain that we stand on solid legal ground. So what does that mean? Right now, the senator remains a state senator. We also spoke with his ex-wife and asked her whether Smith should resign. I think that he should resign. Yes, I do. For what he did, he needs to resign because he needs to focus in on himself and getting mentally healthy. And that's the issue. That's where my concern is, is him getting mentally and emotionally healthy and stable in order to serve the people if he chooses to do so. Now, State Senator Smith hugged, uh, hugged family on the way out of the courtroom this afternoon. And in fact, uh, he remains a senator, a state senator. We called up to the legislature to find out if perhaps he had resigned. He has not. They're going to be back now here on the 28th to discuss this. So what does it mean if the prosecutor says that she'll withdraw her plea? Well, it's likely that there could be a trial in this case. Or if the senator agrees to resign, then maybe it changes all of that. So for now, much of what we thought was going to be resolved this afternoon remains up in the air. Reporting live downtown, Rod Malone, back to you. Rod, those, uh, that wasn't the only term of this uh, plea, of this sentencing. So what, what were the other terms involved here? Well, some of the terms were that he was going to have to have uh, psychological counseling, alcohol counseling, drug testing, also alcohol testing. Hmm. But the judge also had an interesting take on this because it turns out that the state senator has a medical marijuana card. So yeah. he set aside the drug testing part of that plea agreement as well. What a day in court. All right, Rod Maloney reporting for us live. Uh